What if you could find a way to make really good quality movement, get more power in the swing, get the club to swing on plane, and be able to hit the ball, just generally hit it better? Well, there is a way, and we're going to use a rope today to demonstrate how you can go about doing that. Hi, my name's Peter Knight, and I've created this channel, Peter Knight Golf, to help you play the best golf you can. And today, we're gonna to look and see what benefits there are in swinging a, a piece of rope to help your golf swing. Now, when we swing the piece of rope, I'll make a couple of swings just initially, and what you'll see is that during the swing, except for when the rope wraps around my armpit at the end of the back swing and at the end of the through swing, the rest of the time, the rope is staying straight. So my job in swinging the rope is to keep a force going along the length of the rope so it stays straight. My job as a golfer is to create a force that goes along the length of the shaft. Now the shaft's rigid, so you're not gonna see the same effect, but that's what I'm trying to do. So as the club swings back and through, I'm never trying to make the club head go towards a target or flick my hands to try and get more power in the swing or anything like that because it disturbs that motion where I'm creating force going out. Now if I swing a rope and try to use my hands, it's not going to wait, make the rope work correctly at all. So first thing is I want to create that force going along the length of the rope. Then I need to work with the rope so that as it goes back, I'm not going back too slowly. There's no dynamism in the movement and the rope if I do swing back further, it'll just flop on me. So it's not really doing anything whatsoever. Also, if I've got extra work going on with my hands and arms, I'm not gonna time the movement of the rope very well. So again, if I make a nice continuous movement, I'm waiting for the rope to finish under my armpit in the backswing. My arms won't stay straight. They'll, they'll soften a little bit as I get to the end of the backswing. And when I swing through, again, bearing in mind, we wanna make this a continuous motion. And so I will, as I get, go back and through, my arms are softening either side, the arms working back and through under my armpit. And what you'll see from side on is that the rope moves on a very uniform path or plane. Now, if I suddenly start having the rope finishing up over my neck or around lower my body, the path of the club you can see, or the path of the rope swing, you can see changes dramatically. So, the benefit of swinging the, club, the rope back and through and keeping it working under my armpits is to keep the, club, the rope moving on play. I keep saying club because it's the same type of thing that I'm looking to do with the golf club. Keep it moving on a uniform path. Now that path is being generated through my body movement rather than hand and arm manipulation. If when I swing the rope back, it swings around too low it's probably because my shoulder turn has become too flat. If I swing it round and it goes up my, um, around my neck or too high, it's probably because I'm lifting my arms rather than having the feeling that not just is the rope moving like a rope, but my arms are moving like a rope as well. So my arms are being moved and directed by what my body's doing. The next thing is I want to keep my body centered. So again, if I'm swinging the rope back and through and my body's staying centered, I've got really good control. Now in centered, I'm still shifting pressure from foot to foot. But if I swing the rope back and through and my body starts moving around wildly, I've got no chance of keeping that rope swinging on its correct path. Same goes for the golf swing. So I've got to stay centered. I'm still feeling pressure moving from my right foot to my left foot and in fact, the the movement of the pressure precedes my body movement, which precedes the movement of the rope. So I've got pressure moving, body turning, rope swinging in both directions. Pressure moving, body moving, body turning and rope swinging in both directions. And a couple of times in the video here, I've, I've sort of inserted the slow motion movement and you can see how the rope's working quite nicely. Now, if you're looking to use a rope, uh, there's you know, different size ropes you can get. This is a marine rope, so it's nice and soft, although pretty much any rope will do. Now, this particular rope is 16 millimeters. No idea what that is in inches. 16 millimeters in diameter. Um, I have got heavier ropes, 20 mil, and I've got smaller ropes at 10, which I'll use with juniors. Now, the length of the rope, 
Again, metrics, 2.2 meters. Two meters seems to be a little bit too short for an adult, perfect for juniors um, or you know, much smaller people. And 2.2 meters seems to be about the right size. So getting the movement going back and through, and then when you pick up your golf club, make, I'll say a ropey swing. So as the, as the movement goes back and through, you may feel like you don't have the same level of control that you had initially. And that's because you're now no longer using your arms and your hands. You're letting them be directed by the way your body's turning. Continually creating this movement and you'll find that you'll actually have little discoveries of your own as you're doing it. And then implementing that into your golf shots is going to make you a much better, much more powerful swinger of the golf club rather than hitter. Good luck with it.